We have Ada. And she has music. Okay. That threw me off, because I wasn't expecting that. Alright. So. Her per- Oh, that's right. Good way. Her perks are wiretap. Uh, wiretap activates after completing a total of 30% worth of repair progress on generators. After repairing a generator for the last 3 seconds, press the active ability button 1 to install the wiretap, which stays active for 60 seconds. The aura of wiretap generators are revealed in yellow to all survivors. When the killer enters 14 meters of the trap generator, their aura is revealed to all survivors, damaging the generator, destroying the trap. That perk was really useful during the PTB. I can, I'm, can only imagine if it's going to be useful now. Uh, retroactive healing. When another survivor loses a health state of in 32 meters radius around you, while you're injured, instantly increase your healing progress by 40% of the missing healing progression. I guess if you're hit when rescuing somebody and they tunnel the unhooked person, maybe? I I didn't find this useful in PDB because I'm generally not that close. I mean, there are times when I am, but not enough to use a perk for it. And then low profile, when you become the last survivor standing, this perk activates. Hide your scratch marks, pools of blood, and grunts of pain, caught up injuries before 70 seconds. So pretty much if, again, you're like last survivor standing, hatch is open, door is open, you can run to a door and, or run to find the hatch and you won't have a chance of not being followed. So it's like you can run easily run to the door, do the door, run away, and hopefully the killer didn't see you at the door, so if you run away, there's no scratch marks leading to where you were hiding. So you can run back to the door when you go back to the other door. Assuming the doors aren't next to each other, which happens a lot, and it sucks. Alright, so that's Ada. Now, let's quickly go to Rebecca. For Rebecca, we have Better Than New. Upon completing a healing action on another survivor, the targeted survivor gets a 12% speed boost to healing, opening chests, cleansing, and blessing totems. Survivors keep this bonus until they lose a health state. So it's kind of like overzealous. Um, my only thing with overzealous, oops, well, I guess it's fine. Um, I feel like overzealous should be a little different. Like, if you, I'll go through that later. Uh, next perk, uh, reassurance. When within a six meter race around a hook survivor, use active ability button two to pause their struggle progression for 20 seconds. If they're on a struggle phase, it also pauses the struggle skill checks. This was really strong during the PTB. Um, I think they changed the the time, the pause time, I'm not sure, but during the P2B, it was, it was found out that if you do this well enough, it extends the first phase to like three and a half minutes. Um, hyper focus. After hitting a great skill check while repairing or healing, this perk gains one token up to six. Each token increases the chance of skill check triggered by 2%, the skill check uh, cur uh, the skill check cursor speed by 4%, and the progression for each grade check by 10 of its base value. This perk loses all tokens in case of a normal skill check, successes, skill check fails, or if the action is stopped by any means. So, I found this working really well with stakeout, when you get those stacks up. My only thing I hate about it is the stop part. Because that includes when the generator's done. Or when the healing's done. Like, I feel like if you finish the thing, the stack should stay. Until you go to the next one. But, like, I'm, I understand about successes or fails. But the stopping one... It should be, it should be different. Alright. While we're here doing this... Uh, let's check out Whisk real fast. Alright, Wesker. Well, first loadout. Uh, we have Verlant Bond. Press and hold the power button to charge a bound attack. Uh, while charging, the Mastermind moves slightly slower as he prepares to strike. When charged, press the attack button to bound. If the Mastermind hits a survivor, that survivor becomes infected or further than infection. Should the Mastermind crash into something during this bond bound, he will slam the survivor, causing damage. If not, the survivor is thrown, losing a health state if they are thrown into any solid object. It's that, it, honestly, as a survivor, is really fun to be thrown. Um, if Verlant Bond hit, hits a dropped pallet or vault location, the Mastermind vaults over the obstacle. 
<laughs> Special effect, Urbos Infection. Upon being hit by virulent bonds, survivors become infected. Infected, build, infected builds over time, and when fully infected, survivor suffers from the hindered effect. If virulent bond grabs and slams survivor while they're fully infected, match my automatic people carry them. I don't think I ever had that happen to the PTB. I don't remember 100%. Uh, special interaction, first aid spread. Give each trial se several supply crates. Okay. Uh, each contains this first aid spray. When they when, they, when, they, when infected, a survivor can use the first aid spray on themselves or another, removing the infection. Each first aid spray has a set number of charges. After using a first aid spray, the survivor's location is briefly revealed to. I did not know that part. That is, I, I did not realize that part, last part during the BTV at all. All right, then there's perks. We have superior anatomy. When a survivor performs a vault, fast vault within 8 meters of you, this perk activates. Next time you vault a window, your vaulting speed is increased by 30%. Just a window? Not a pallet? Okay. This perk deactivates after vaulting a window. This perk has a 30 second cooldown. So I'm sure that part goes down as you level it up. Uh, awakened awareness. When carrying a survivor, you can see the auras of other survivors within 16 meters of your present. That's going to be used a lot to counter, uh, for people who get close to counter barbecue. So it's going to be barbecue and wicked awareness, and then whatever else. And then terminus. When the exit gets your power, this perk activates. While terminus is active, injured, downed, or hooked survivors are infected with the broken test effect until exit gates are open. Exit gates are open. Survivors are say broken for this one 20 seconds. I think this goes up to 30. Like it's 20, 25, and 30. <clears throat> this is going to be another one that's going to be used a lot. This first one, probably not so much. But these last two, for sure. And that is your new survivors and killer.